All right. Ugh. Look at all the little fishies. See them all? Right in there. Oh, yeah. Huh? Start that GoPro. All right, go ahead and get on. Okay. Just up front. Sit down. That's hard. You good? What? You good? Okay. Whoa. Hey, hey, look at me. You're okay. Ooh, and get a little wet. Is it cold? A little bit. Ooh, oh feel it. Oh my gosh! All right, ready? It's cold. Ready? Here we go. Oh, all right. Get that water off my foot. I know. Is it cold? It is a little. All right. Can you sit up some? You know, I'm realizing it's going to be very difficult to paddle. Wiggling. It's gonna wiggle. We're on the water. Okay? No big deal. Whoa, what's that? Is that a leaf thing? I wonder. I'm sure putting these back here. Like I've never this. been on Never been on a kayak before? Have I ever done this before? No, this is a new experience for you. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I saw someone with the Moana thingy fishing. Oh, okay. Now. Now we're good to go. Alright. Why couldn't you paddle? Why couldn't you do that? Why couldn't I do what? I should have bought a longer paddle. Might I might need to go back I... and buy a longer one. Alright, so this is our first time out on the kayak. I guess we should explain about our channel first. So hi, I'm Josh and this is Maddie. And we are with Bollinger Outdoors. We are a startup YouTube channel. And really our, our goal and our hope with the YouTube channel is uh, my wife and I have had this dream uh, ever since we got married to try and um, build a camp. Uh, build a camp that's centered on outdoors activities and, and working with youth. Her and I both grew up in a church setting where we had youth camps every summer. And because of that, we would really love to be able to build out a camp where we can run things like that. We know of some in Michigan that my nieces and nephews have been a part of and they've really enjoyed um, the things that have gone on there. Hey, I'm talking. <laughs> Can you wait a second? So, anyway, the whole point of this channel is just to engage you, take you on our outdoor adventures. We, we love doing everything, so there's going to be a little bit of everything on this channel, um, but most of it's going to be really simple. Uh, and what I mean by simple is we don't believe you got to spend a billion dollars to um, to have fun and, and do cool stuff and so um, a lot of what we're going to do, um, a lot of uh, what we're going to support and push is just getting people outside and, um, and doing it whatever way possible. We're on a kayak right now because I, I didn't want to go in debt $30,000 for a uh, no fishing within 100 feet. Interesting. What's 100 feet? I guess let's go up to that point then. Start fishing that point. Um, so anyway, sorry, I, I was hoping to fish that dock, but obviously people come and fish it and they don't like that, so. Ugh. So anyway, we're on a kayak, because I don't want to spend $30,000 on a big old bass fishing boat. Um, didn't have the cash for it, and didn't want to go into debt for it, so we believe in honoring God with the resources that we have available, and so with that and through that, we didn't want to overspend on um, or overextend ourselves and go into debt for something we just didn't really need so anyway hope you guys enjoy this um, we're out here in middle georgia today on this beautiful placid, placid lake yep on a kayak let's, let's throw a line in and see what we get Should, you want me to rig yours up first with the worm okay. let's see if i set this up well It's okay, it's not a big deal. Alright, here's our worms. I think that's a little 
a little warm bucket. What's a little warm bucket? I think I think that's a little little spot for your worms. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. Hey, if I give you your pole, you can't drop it, okay? You drop it, it's, it's sayonara. What's sayonara? No more fishing pole. Bye-bye. Let's try these trees out. They look like a good spot. It's bright when I turn the other way. Ah. Alright, put this down and cast it for you, okay? Alright, there you go. Don't, really I know, it's okay. Don't move too much. Just try to keep your line tight, okay? Okay. Try to keep your line tight. There's a gulf close to the ocean. Well, we're not in the ocean, Maddie. I was about to say ocean, but I was like, what? Look, there's a gulf tourist. Like, I know. how do they have it so close to the water? Huh? I said, how do we have it so close to the water? It wasn't windy when we first came out here. We are so not close to the shore at all. Oh my gosh, I can see my father moving. Yeah. But why? Because we're on a kayak? Yeah, so it's basically getting dragged by your line. Look, I'm barely touching it. Can't get I can't get a nibble. You can't oh. get a nibble? I was about to say you can't get a bite either. Yeah, nibble bite anything. Oh, there's a there's a something. Caught a something. I think it's still on my line too. I see another lily pad. I was about to get it, but I couldn't. It was too far away from me. Look at all that. Mmm. What is that? Caught some grass. Ah. Yeah, that is not fun. It's how, gross. How did it even get there? Huh? How did it even get there? Go away, grass. Why are they called lily pads? They could be called frog pads. Because frogs can go on them. Well, they're not exclusive to frogs, though. Other things can go on the leaf heads, too, right? Yeah, like turtles. Mm hmm. I still see that turtle there. Alright. Not sure what knots y'all are tying. Obviously, mine don't make a difference because I'm not catching fish today. But I do, the, I do this double clincher, which some sweeter old lady taught me on the pier in Virginia Beach, which is where I really, I think I really fell in love with fishing. I've always liked fishing, but... Virginia? Virginia, Virginia Beach. I was on that pier is and there was always, there was always a... Blood? Can I finish talking first? Hun, we're, we're working on you being more respectful and listening to people talk, right? Mm -hmm. I'll answer your question afterwards. All right, so there was a pier in Virginia Beach and they, you used to be able to catch a, or you can still catch a fish called called a croaker off of uh off of it and they're called a croaker because they make this croaking sound like a like a frog um but it was cool because not only were the fish fun to catch but there was a lot of a lot of people there that would actually catch them and um and take them home to eat and i thought that was the coolest thing and as much as i do catch and release. I am an avid outdoorsman that enjoys the bounty that God provided for us in nature to partake in. I always think it's so funny and, you know, I was a vegan for a while and uh, for health reasons and whatnot, but it's, it's funny to me. We spend all this time and money researching expensive methods for 
curing stuff, and so often, I think we can cure things just by eating healthier. Alright, so I started this mystery box, the mystery tackle box subscription, and they sent me these plasma tail enhanced with biosent. This genetically modified artificial life form has attributes that stimulate predator to st strike. Um, we'll see. All right, so let's try. I've never actually never used a shaky head before, um, but you know I watched a YouTube video on it, and now I'm a seasoned pro and I know exactly what to do. So <laughs> uh, anyway, let's try this out. Get this thing threaded on here. If you're watching and you're cringing as to how I'm doing this, let me know and. Uh, Feel free to offer advice, and I'm happy to happy to listen because I don't know everything. <laughs> Man, we're, we already got pushed back a decent amount. We're close to the house. I know. I'm gonna paddle out a little bit in a second. Do you want to go that way? Uh, no, because I think that's the. the I think that goes into the golf course. The only thing I don't get about this, I guess am I supposed to let the tip kind of peek out a little bit on the other side so I can set the hook? I guess we'll find out. We'll try that. So anyway, I'm supposed to have this flashy fiber tail and uh, my clincher knot and hopefully that holds. Let's try this out since I can't seem to get anything to bite on my regular old Texas rig. Almost, this is almost just like a Texas rig enhanced. <laughs> Huh? The worm? No. But then why did they snipe a piece of No. The idea is that they they would take the whole thing in a chunk. I'm going to leave these out. I was like, do you guys call that shaky head because the head shakes? Or do you call it that? Some other wise. Or did you guys just call it that? Because you guys wanted to call it that. You know? Huh? I said, do you know if they called it that because the head cheek? Or do they call it that because some other reason? I bet other reason because they're not real, are they? Sneaky head? There is a fish called a snake head. Does it look like a snake head? No, uh, not exactly. Does it look like a snake head? Um, no, it's just the name they gave it. What is that? I mean, they're kind of long. Oh, man. Oh, that grass. That grass. Probably not great for the camera angle when I get right up on this. You gonna get grass again or lily pad? What are you gonna get this time? I don't know. Hopefully a fish. Yeah, hopefully. They don't seem to be biting. I should probably go try a different really spot, can. huh? Since I'm not getting anything here. Foot pedal out. Oh, are you kidding me? That thing broke on my first outing? That's not okay. That's not okay at all. Did that work? No. Oh, pelican. Come on. Wait, what did you kick out? This, look, look at this. I like, I like barely touched it with my leg and it broke. Come on, Pelican. That's not okay. Is it? I mean, feet go there. Legs are heavy. That's crazy. Ugh. It's just broke. 
I mean, I like, barely, like, it blows my mind that this is made of such cheap plastic because, in all sincerity, like, we could replace it. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or if I'm gonna call Pelican and, or just take it back to Academy and be like, yo, this piece of junk broke. <laughs> Sorry, Pelican, I'm not trying to rant here. I read lots of reviews on this where lots of people were very happy with this product. So. However, that being that cheap and breaking that easily, if I were to do a review on this kayak, I, I really, I mean, it's very stable. Woo! <laughs> very stable. Um, but I'm, I'm very disappointed in that foot pad breaking. I, I mean, I was worried about that when I first bought it, you know? Why? Well, because it's just, it just feels like chintzy plastic. Like, it doesn't... I mean, feet are heavy. They're not, and maybe, I guess they probably didn't engineer it for backwards force, but it just, I mean, look at that. Like, even if I put pressure on that, it just pops right out. Like, is it not in there right? I just don't, it doesn't make sense. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the kayak experience, but I'm gonna have to, I can't decide if I want to just take it back, or I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call Pelican and test out their customer service. Hi, buddy. Hi, Archie. Did you bring dinner? My foot thing broke. What? That's not good. Look at it. I can't decide if I'm gonna take it back or call Pelican and be like, yo! Does it have a warranty like that or anything? Or? I, for what, my first time you school, I have a warranty? Oh, no, I mean, yeah. Are you gonna climb out, Maddie? Uh, Hold be, on. Be wait, careful. Wait till, wait till Daddy tells you you're all good. No. That is a legit orange GoPro float. Float. Now can I? Yeah, grab my hand. Hold on, let me, oh, hold on. Let me put some pressure. There you go. Alright. I was like, can I get in? You don't have a life jacket. <laughs> we gotta get you a life jacket. Hey, go. Fine. 